Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing good. Before I start, massive thank you for 48,000. Like I reached two days ago, just huge thank you. I proper appreciate you all. So in this video, I am filling up this laser cut wooden skull blank, sugar skull blank, created and made by Moray at Lothian Woodworks. You would have seen his work on my channel before. I kind of yeah, he's my go-to, so anything I see that he makes, I'm straight on his Etsy, and yeah, there you go, it's huge as well, it's about 29, 30 centimetres tall, and it's about a centimetre deep, so it's really big, I'm going to be using all of the glitters, now, my patrons over on my Patreon page, they chose all of the colours for this project every step of the way before I ended up throwing on some of the bling at the end. But yeah, massive shout out to my patrons for everything you helped with this project. They pretty much did it all for me. Let's go. <laughs> So you would have seen just before my intro that I actually took it out in the garden and I gave it a spray paint of white. I really wanted to colour the wood. I am still nervous about putting resin with wood in case the wood soaks the resin up. So I figured if I just give it a really liberal two coats of white spray paint that will seal the wood and seal everything and I don't have to worry. Now the glitters I'm using, oh my gosh. These are my absolute favourite glitters. They are by Hemway. I have a ton of Hemway glitters and mica powders and I am a Hemway affiliate. So if you are interested in these glitters at all, there is a huge discount for you at the checkout if you use my code Claire Burgess. I've actually had the code a couple of years now and yeah, I still love their glitters. Now my patrons all kind of had different ideas, but the majority of them all mentioned purple and black and some pink. So those are the colors that I kind of picked out of all of the suggestions to run with because they were the most suggested. So here you see me, this is slightly sped up, but here you see me filling in all of the gaps that mold into each other, if that makes sense. So you've got from the top of the skull down to the bottom of the skull, it's open. So I just started with dark at the top and then I brought it down. I've got this holographic purple. It is absolutely stunning. It's got so much pink in there as well. And that worked really well to bring it down to the pink at the bottom. Now I use a lot of glitter when I use glitter. I don't just put a little bit in for a little bit of sparkle. I put a lot in, a lot, especially if you're using it this way because glitter sinks so there's a chance that all of this glitter would sink to the bottom if I didn't use much. So you really want to think about what you're creating, do you need it to look glittery? If you're making something that's going to then be flip reversed, I wouldn't worry too much because glitter sinks and then you'll be able to see it. It all depends on your resin as well, low and high viscosity actually react differently with glitter so here you go. Now at this point, I am already in love with it. I'm already in love with it. And I do go back and ask my patrons kind of like every step of the way. Like after this, I said, what color would you do the wood? Would you leave it white? Would you would you do silver? How would you do it? You know, and they were so amazing. They all came back to me and they all pretty much agreed on what avenue the color, the color system should go. So I was just really grateful because... Sometimes it just really helps to get others' opinions, you know, on on what direction a project should go in. But here you see me just putting pink in the center of the eyes and then the black glitter around the outside. Now, the black hasn't got glitter in. It's got super sparkle white. Um, and you've seen me use that in previous videos and I love it. Um, and here are the enclosed sections. So for the enclosed sections, I went with the black up the top and I ended up going for the purple down the bottom. So there's quite a few enclosed sections on this and at this stage I got really messy. You can see how messy it is. There was just resin everywhere but I wasn't too worried because I knew I could go in afterwards and just clean it up with some cotton buds or some tissue, um, whichever is your... But look at me, look. <laughs> <laughs> the mess, the actual mess. Um, but I do go in with a cotton bud afterwards and I clean it up. We do know that resin retracts. So when resin cures, it kind of sinks down into your piece. So I did want 
the resin here to be as raised as possible so that tomorrow I'm not going to have huge gaps in the top of this piece um, because I do want to do a top coat and I've almost got no resin left for top coating so I need to yeah, get back online and get me some more of that but here you see me just finishing it off then I grabbed some cotton buds and I just went in and I just tidied up all of the areas before sending a message to my patrons saying right what now what do we do now what color is the wood going to be where do we go from here so this is the very next day this is 24 hours later all of my patrons they decided on white glitter and I was more than happy to go with that some suggested silver I suggested silver pen I wish I didn't because my silver pen is a shocker I can't find my decent one right now but yeah white glitter on the nose and all of those kind of areas so I just did exactly what my patrons suggested and I added some white glitter now this white glitter is from eBay cheap as chips and then with the silver glitter you will see me start to add some silver glitter here in a moment um that's actually from Arteza so there you go this silver pen awful absolutely awful was not feeling it at all now I do have a deco color silver pen somewhere in this house I put it somewhere safe and it's still safe <laughs> basically I've lost it but you guys if you could see my craft room you'd understand like I actually don't know how I find anything in there at the moment honestly but I had to just push that nib so many times to get the silver to even come out but it did the job and yeah in the end I did end up adding some silver glitter over the silver pen because look at this it's just streaky and awful yeah I would not recommend this silver pen is basically where I'm going with this story <laughs> this glitter is by Arteza like I said um, back in the day if you've been following me for a couple of years Arteza I worked with them on a few videos and they sent me tons and tons of product and I still have it which is really really amazing so here you see me just going over with the glitter now I am using PVA glue you could use Mod Podge or anything that you have school glue and I'm just going over with the glitter then I'm actually going to leave this to sit overnight. I'm I'm not going to brush this off in an hour or two. I'm going to leave it to sit overnight. And this is the very next day again. So again, it's quite a long project, but it was all worth it in the end. I went back to my patrons and asked them how the teeth should be. Should I fill them in? Should I leave them? They all said, fill them in. And they all had different ideas on colour. Um, but there was one suggestion for black, um, one or two suggestions for black and yeah, I went with black because I thought it would really balance out the fact that the eyes are black and it would just add that pop. So that is what I did. I went in with black. Now it got real hard at this point because the holes are small, but this is a great tip if anyone's never used this tip. I run some off of a lollipop stick. So the lollipop stick does all the work and it gives me smaller drops the other end instead of pouring straight from these silicon jugs um, so just rest it up against your lollipop stick your popsicle stick whatever you have to hand and it just gives you a much more controlled flow of the resin and it enabled me to fill these up even though I still made I still made a mess I still made a mess so like I said this is the next day but resin shrinks so what I did then was while I had the black freshly made I went in and filled up any of those gaps where I felt it really had sunk too much. I didn't want it to have sunk that much. Then I went in with some cotton buds. You can do this with a syringe. You can do this with anything. Um, and I just, yeah, cleaned up those teeth. The next day, again, 24 hours later. So this was a long one. 24 hours later, I went in with a paintbrush. I did actually end up using a much bigger brush than the one you just saw I don't know what made me think I could even do that I've taped up the back because now it is time to top coat I just love this so much but I do know that all of that glitter needs to be sealed otherwise you will end up with some glitter fallout for the rest of the time that you have this piece and it's really best to seal it all a word about glitter as well I am such a responsible glitter user 
whenever I use glitter, I am as careful as I possibly can be to make sure that any brush off goes back into the containers. If there's any on the floor, it gets hoovered up. What we don't want is glitter in our oceans. We don't want plastic in our oceans and we don't want it going down the drain. So if you are using glitter, please be a responsible glitter user. Pack as much in as you can because <laughs> you can never have too much glitter. Here I am, you see me top coating. Now, I have done top coating videos, but this is a good example. Go slowly, go very, very slowly. I was lucky here because the resin was thick. I let it sit a while to thicken up before I poured it on. Um, and it's thick, which means it's much less likely to go over the edges and just slowly does it. It's, it's that slowness that you really need when you're top coating. All of these air bubbles, I'm ignoring them because I will be getting a torch out and I will be torching those out. This is the perfect kind of work to use a torch, a blow torch, um, because it's flat work. There's no silicon involved. You're not going to melt anything or burn anything. Um, this is a prime example of when I would use my culinary torch to get rid of air bubbles. And yeah, another little tip for you. <laughs> Here you go. And I give it a really, really good blast as well. And about 20 minutes later, I come back in and give another blast. And that is it. I want to say that's it finished, but it's really not. It's really not. My patrons have given me every step of the way, but this is an example of what I do. I get down, I get my head right down at the side of the piece so that the light is reflecting on all of the surfaces just to see if I've got the resin to the edges. If you haven't got the resin to the edges, there's a chance it will pull back and you'll be left with big chunky gaps. Now just a note as well, I wouldn't suggest you try this, but I'd actually run out of top coating resin. I had a small amount of glass cast resin left, but no hardener. And I really didn't want to use my cascade because that's designed for deeper pores. So I had a really good route around in my craft room and I found some old, and I mean two years old, I found some old hardener from a completely different resin company from Just For You Online. So I mixed the hardener from one resin to the resin from a different brand. Um, Again, I wouldn't recommend doing it, but it does work. It did work. It came out utterly perfect. In fact, it was probably the hardest, the hardest top coat I have experienced. It actually cured within about four or five hours. I was utterly shocked. So do not do that is what I'm saying. But that is what I had to do here because I didn't have enough. And there you have it. It worked is all I'm saying but again don't follow me health and safety <laughs> here you see me just going so this is the thing right I wanted diamonds around those eyes because I didn't like the silver pen I didn't like the silver pen so I decided to get out my teardrop diamantes and then I figured oh, I might as well put some teeth on and then it was really hard for me to stop it's moments like this I need you all here I need you in the craft room with me saying Claire enough's enough like put it all down um so apart from the diamonds it really was patron choice for this project but yeah at the end I decided it has to have more bling and I went fully in with all of the diamonds and I love it I placed the diamonds directly down on the top coat before the top coat had a chance to cure now one or two diamonds did get swallowed up by that top coat and all that does it, it takes away the the faceted surface it takes away the really sparkly surface so not ideal however it only happened to one or two the rest sat happily on top so move forward two days later <laughs> this is this was a four day project this is two days later because I really wanted that top coat to not get any damage when I flip it over and paint the back I really wanted to neaten up the back so I just went in with a really dry brush like I didn't actually put much paint on at all I wanted it to be really thin I usually use way too much paint way too much of everything to be fair and here it is finished four days later I'm seeing a little black drip on the left hand side that I didn't clock before but that's absolutely perfectly fine. I'm 
loving the finish on this that top coat even though it's two different branded resins mixed together came out like a dream there's a couple of little there's a couple of fish eyes on here where there's dimples in the resin but i think with the diamonds and everything moving around and i only had enough to top coat this just barely had enough to top coat this ideally i would have had maybe a couple of ounces more to give me some leeway um so i think those fish eyes those dimples might have occurred because the resin was pulling itself back in but here it is i i am absolutely obsessed i love this so much i feel like it needs to go in a tall rectangular frame with a black backing on it let me know your thoughts because if you all think the same as me i might just make a frame i've got some wood and i've got some edging so i might actually do that but yeah let me know your thoughts is yeah how much glitter is too much glitter because right now i don't think that's a thing so massive thank you to my patrons for choosing the colors all along the way and my forever questioning you where i should go next with this but i really appreciate all of your help and thanks again to moray for making this and putting it up on your etsy and um yeah apologies in advance for all of the things i'm going to ask you to make me <laughs> it's your own fault for doing everything but for everyone watching, thank you so much if you've made it this far. It's a really long one. This is 16 minutes in, so I appreciate you massively. Thanks for 48k. Just big thanks is all I've got to say, really. Just lots and lots of gratefulness happening right now. And um, yeah, feeling super mushy about it all. So thank you. Let me know your thoughts. Leave a comment down below. Click subscribe if you've made it this long and you haven't yet subscribed. Then you belong here. You belong here. We are family. <laughs> I will see you all in the next video. Bye.